Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Webhook inside Elementor. So Webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to effortlessly deliver the data from one application to another on happening of a specific event. So here I'm going to show you step by step how we can set up a Webhook inside Elementor to send Elementor responses to any other application. So as we know, Elementor is a plugin of WordPress and it is very popular form building and online page building application. So now I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do to set up the connection between Elementor and Pabli Connect so that whenever a form will be submitted in Elementor automatically the response of that form will be captured inside Pabli Connect and then you can further send that response towards any other application as well. Now to start with the process we have to go towards our trigger application and we have to select our trigger application as Elementor. So let's select that. So basically trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the building blocks of the automation where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Let's suppose here we have selected Elementor in our trigger and we are going to select that trigger event as new form submission. So now whenever a form will be submitted in Elementor, automatically the response will be captured over here in Pabli Connect and then by setting up the action step you can send that response towards any other application as well. So now for that we have to set up the connection between Elementor and Pabli Connect. So in order to do that the instructions are already provided to us. We have to follow them very carefully to set up this connection and we have to use the webhook URL for that. So as we have selected the trigger event we have received a webhook URL. This is a unique URL which is going to act as a bridge for setting up the connection between Elementor and Pabli Connect and for sending the response from Elementor towards here in Pabli Connect. So we will first of all copy the webhook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So as we have done that, now I'm going to take you towards Elementor. So Elementor is a plugin of WordPress. So we have to go towards WordPress site and from the left side, we can find the option of Elementor. Under that, we can find the option of getting started. Let's select that. Now here we have to click on this create your first page option. Because my objective is that whenever the form will be submitted in Elementor, then I want to receive the response inside Pabli Connect. Therefore, here I'm going to search for forms from the elements. I have searched for form and the form is open in front of us. So Elementor Forms enables users to create and customize forms very easily. These forms can be used for various purposes such as contact forms, for lead generations, for surveys and more. Users can add different form fields over here, customize their appearance and configure form settings such as validation, rules and submission actions. Okay, so now once you will set up a connection between Elementor Forms and Pabli Connect, whenever a form will be submitted by a lead or by your customer, you will be able to get the response of that form inside Pabli Connect. And if you want, you can also create a record automatically of all the form responses in Google Sheets by adding Google Sheets in action step. Now for that, first of all, you have to set up a connection between Elementor and Pabli Connect as trigger. So for that, I've already opened the form. Here I have these fields such as name, email and the message. If you want to change any of the field from here, you can do that very easily. Let's suppose I want to remove this message field from the form. So I'm going to just cross this field and instead of the message, I want to add a contact number. So I'm going to click on this add item button and I'm going to select the type as number over here because it is going to be contact number. And then I'm going to give the name to this label as contact number. Okay, so these are the fields which I want in my form. Now, after selecting the fields you want in the form, you have to scroll down and here you will find the option of action after submit. So let's select that. Now here you will find the option of plus. So you will click on this plus icon and here from the drop down, you have to select webhook option. So we have selected webhook over here. Now, as we have done that, we can see webhook option is visible here as well. So we will click on this webhook once again. And now in this field of webhook URL, you have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Okay, after doing this, you have to click on this publish button and the form is published. And yes, it is saying, hooray, your post is live. So now we are going to click on preview form to preview the changes we have made. And yes, here the form is opened. These are the same fields which I have selected name, email and the contact number. So now when we have set up the connection, we will go back towards Pabli Connect. It is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. And how we are going to do that? By simply submitting the form which we have recently connected with Pabli Connect. So this is the form I have already opened that when I'm going to enter the details in this form and submit it, automatically the response will be captured over here in Pabli Connect because we have already set up the connection with the help of the webhook URL. So now I'm going to enter the details over here and because I'm just doing a test submission, therefore I'm going to enter some random details over here. So now let's start with the name. Let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form is dummy user. 
Now I'm going to enter a random email. Dummy user at the rate publicutes dot com. Now I'm going to enter a random phone number as well. Okay. Now I'm going to submit the form by clicking on the send button. And here we can see that the submission is successful. So let's go back towards Babli Connect. And here we can see that as soon as we have done the submission, we have instantly received the response in Babli Connect. You can see that it is given instant over here. This means that whenever the form will be submitted, instantly the response is going to be captured. So now in the response, we have received all the details. We can see that this is the form name. This is the form ID. Here is the user agent. Here is the time at which the form is being submitted. Okay. Here are some other details as well. Page URL. the name of the person who has submitted this form email address date and the contact number so this means that our connection is absolutely successful so with the help of the url we have set up a connection between elementor and public connect in such a way that now whenever the form will be submitted in elementor automatically the response of that form will be captured over here and once you will set up this connection successfully you can send this response anywhere you want so just if you want to create a record of the form responses in google sheets you can add google sheets in your action step if you want to send this response on whatsapp to your team member you can add whatsapp cloud api over here in the action step and even you can send the response through email all right so these were the simple steps which we have to follow to set up webhook inside elemento i hope the video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations